Hello guys, welcome back to Ikureku TV. Now, without wasting your time, you can see this our beautiful sister here. Um, they say that she just lost her life after speaking with her husband and some other people on telephone. Is it in Nigeria? But she resides in the UK. They have so rest in perfect peace. I'm going to give you a glimpse of that story very, very quickly before we delve into this. Now, Austria to work with UK on Rwanda style plan for asylum seekers. Now, why am I talking about this? It's for those people who might want to flee to Austria for asylum processing. You have to be very, very careful because these people want to work the way UK is working. Remember that that of UK has been frustrated by a lot of um, non-governmental organizations who have said no to such moves. And don't also forget that Italy also has such a plan which they said that they want to do with Albania to move migrants to their country where they will be um, the asylum requests will be processed. Let's quickly go into details very very fast. Okay. Now a UK based woman, Nigerian mother of two, has been found dead in her home after two calls to husband and friends. So what could be the um, reason behind her death? Very young woman for that matter. A United Kingdom based Nigerian mother of a four year old boy and a two year old girl identified as Joy Ifude has been found dead in her house in Hatopun after speaking with her husband and many other people on the phone. Ifude's death was disclosed by a member of the Nigerian community in the United Kingdom, Ibironke Kadija Kwadiri. In a post on Facebook on Monday, pointing out that the actual cause of her death has not been ascertained. Wadiri said the Nsude who died on November 2nd was until her death, a student of international management at Teesside University, Middlesbro. Wadiri's quote read, It's with deep sorrow that we inform you of the passing of our esteemed member of Nigerian society, the Teesside University, Middlesbro. United Kingdom, Joy Osunde, student of international management. May her soul rest in perfect peace. What could lead to her death after for the more? Now, the actual cost of this uh, untimely death has not been ascertained. Maybe investigation into all this, of course, you know, will commence. Okay, may her soul rest in peace. Now, moving away from there very, very quickly. And now they say that Austria, Austria is going to be working the same way that the UK is working to make sure that uh, um, they they don't to make sure that they push migrants away from their country and they process their asylum requests outside their territory. Let's quickly look at that. Now, both Austria and UK are pushing other European countries to revamp international rights. Okay? Both Austria and the UK are pushing other European Union countries to revamp international rights agreements that include the United Nations Refugee Convention and the European Con uh, Convention on Human Rights. Austria has entered into a cooperation agreement with the United Kingdom to work on a migration scheme that would send asylum seekers to a asylum seekers to a third country. Okay. Now you all are aware that United Kingdom is working very, very hard to push migrants away from their country and process their asylum in Rwanda, a move that has been criticized by right groups. Austrian Minister, Interior Minister, Jahad Kana and his UK counterpart. Suela Braverman inked a migration and security agreement, which we see the two countries working closely together on a Rwanda style asylum policy. So, the reason why is because a lot of people are still running to the United Kingdom okay, for asylum. And some people also are going to Austria probably to seek asylum. But these countries want to change the whole story and the narrative for those uh, incoming. Now, we still have high numbers of asylum applications in Austria, despite a decrease of almost 50% compared to the previous year. That's why it is necessary that we take intensive measures, Great Britain and Denmark, 
are developing models for asylum procedures outside Europe, which we are very pleased with, said Kana in a statement on the Austrian government website. Now, what they are trying to do is to make sure they move you to that Rwanda. So when they move you to that country, uh, of course, majority of the documents or the asylum are going to be rejected. Majority of this. Just imagine somebody from Ghana now, whether they are going to grant such person uh, asylum. The answer is no, Ghana or Nigeria. They are not going to grant it. Rather, they will be looking for a way to deport that person from there. Austria is the first European Union country to sign such a deal with the UK. Denmark had previously drafted plans to deport asylum seekers to third countries, but the proposals have been put on hold. Government figures indicate that 43,700 asylum seeker asylum applications had been filed in Austria as of September 2023, representing 40% in decrease. Relative to its population, roughly 9 million, Austria, Austria reportedly saw the fourth highest number of asylum applications in the EU last year, when about 112,000 asylum claims were lodged. So they really had a lot of customers last year. Offshoring migration. While the UK's offshoring asylum policy seeks to send asylum applicants to Rwanda, Austria is looking into a policy that would allow them to return to Austria and if their asylum applications are approved, those who are unsuccessful will be returned to their home countries from there. So there is no need to you know, fly you through and through. The aim is to prevent people from taking dangerous routes in the long term and instead carrying out asylum procedures in third countries. Read a statement on the Austrian Interior Minister's website on what they are planning in case you want to go further into these things. Both the UK and Austria are pushing all the European countries to make sure that they also agree with them, and, um, and which also include the United Nations Refugee Convention, UN and the European Convention on Human Rights. So if, if they are able to break these deals, then that means that um, asylum seekers will no longer have that right and that protection they have, which keeps them in this EU. Once the, this uh, Austria and the UK breaks that genes, that means anywhere they wish, they can send you while pending your application. Now, drafted in 1952 in response to the millions of people across Europe displaced by World War II, the UN Refugee Convention was later amended to remove the time and geographic limit in the original text and make the convention universal. The UN Refugee Convention is, is the basis for international asylum system. Under the UN Convention, which 150 countries have signed, a refugee is defined as someone who is unable or unwilling to return to their country of origin, owing to a well-founded fear of being persecuted for reasons or race, religion, nationality, membership of a particular social group, or political opinion. Non-reformment, we state that the refugees should not be returned to a country where they face serious threats to their life or freedom is one of the core principles of the UN Convention. So that is what the UK and the, um, Austria wants to break. It wants to break this refugee status so it can become a flawed um, universal agreement. It will no longer work. Now, Cutting controversy on this uh, UK Rwanda policy. Last year, Britain agreed a 140 pounds, 40 pounds to 100, which is equivalent to 180 million dollars deal to send these international, to send seeking international protection living in the United Kingdom on a one way ticket to Rwanda to claim asylum. The plan has since, has since fierce opposition from politicians and civil rights groups who have called the uh, proposed team inhumane and in violation of Article 3 of the European Convention on Human Rights, which prohibits torture and law and inhumane or degrading treatment. Asylum seekers have made appeals outlining the risk of ill treatment in Rwanda and the consequences of being forcibly returned to their country of origin. Anyone who has fled their country will always find a way to tell you that it is no longer feasible for them to return. Controversial policy is pending before the Supreme Court, which is assessing its legality. If passed, 
Britain's plans to start deportation flights in February this 2024. So it has not been approved. Once the court now rules on it and say, boy, it is legal, then UK will start the deportation of migrants in large quantities coming February 2024. But for now, it's still pending. A first plane with deportees was already scheduled to leave Britain for Rwanda on June 14, but was grounded by last-minute injunction by the European Court on Human Right of Human Rights. However, even if the controversial policy gets a nod from Britain's High Court, it act, its actual implementation will be another hurdle. As reported by The Guardian, most airlines have refused to fly asylum seekers to Rwanda. The government's partner, Air Tanker, said, Air Tanker has no intention for, of operating deportation flights to Rwanda. The Home Secretary, Suela Braverman, has said it is her dream for Rwanda deal to happen. That's what um, they are planning to do when it comes to immigration now. All right. So if you are running to countries, be careful. Nobody have, seen, have known what the court will rule at the end of the year. So if it goes right for them to say that, oh, deport people, that means people will be deported to Rwanda. Thank you and God bless you. Let me share this video.